This is probably literally the worst house in the neighborhood, though. The houses are attached. Yeah. Where's the front door? No, it's a neighbor's house. That can't be the front door, right? There's a gate right here with a doorbell, so. You're kidding me. It looks like. Is it the front? No, this it's not, because you're walking into bushes. OK, well, let's go look, because I don't see a front door anywhere else. What? And this is really awkward. You can't see the front door with all these overgrown bushes. It's definitely the most interesting house in the neighborhood. Oh that's my for God, sure. Look at this roof. I know, it's horrific. Dark. It's dark, but I mean, it looks good when you walk in. The entrance is really big. High ceilings. And look at this kitchen. Ugh, the kitchen is so small. Oof. It looks like a really small kitchen that would be in like a tiny apartment. You know what we could do though? If we got rid of this wall, put a big island or peninsula here, it'll overlook the family room. Oh, yeah. And even, I feel like, get rid of this wall. It just seems so pointless. So here's my thought. To redo this kitchen, it would cost at least $9,000. Plus, I would say 99%, this entire thing is load-bearing. So to remove this wall, it would cost around $5,000. We could create, like, a huge kitchen. You know what? This living area is huge. Honestly, it's so big, I don't even know what to do with it. I think it's great that it has a fireplace. I mean, that could definitely be a focal point. We could do something really cool with the fireplace. Yeah, like a stack stone or something. Yeah. Let's go look at the bedroom. Wow. Huge bedroom. Look at wow. big bedroom. Oh my gosh. OK, this is good. We just need new carpet and a coat of paint. This is a huge master bathroom, but it's so dated. This whole thing would have to go. This would be a, a complete redesign. Look at the closet. That's a huge closet. OK, this has so much potential. What do you think cost-wise to redo this bathroom and the shower layout? We're probably looking in here because it's so big. Eight to 9,000, maybe? OK, here's the second bedroom. It's a decent size. It's not as big as the first. The bathroom's decent size. And the good news is there is a tub, so we can just reconfigure that master bathroom and put like a huge shower. Right. I would say in here to remodel this, maybe six, 7,000. I mean, the good things with this house, it's not it's actually not in bad shape. It's mostly cosmetic. The worst part is just the outside. The roof needs to be replaced. That's probably seven to eight thousand. Okay. So based on what we walked, I think it's about fifty thousand dollar remodel. Fifty, including opening up that entire kitchen to make it open up to the family room? Okay, let's just say the rehab here would probably be between fifty thousand and fifty-five thousand. Based on that, there's still a good spread here. I ran the comps, they're in the high fives. Right. They're asking 425,000 for this house, so I'm ready to write an offer. I wonder if they have any offers. I'm sure they do, but you know, we'll come in cash. All right, let's go call the agent. The bank accepted our all cash offer of $425,000 and the house is ours. Our rehab budget is set at $63,000. $55,000 for the house, plus another $8,000 to clean out the overgrown landscaping and draw attention to the front door. And now it's time to open up these walls and dig into the small kitchen. We have some issues in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, specifically with that wall that you wanted to take down. And I'd like to show you, but I need you to put that mask on. Okay, I want to just give it to her. No, Christina, I would like to stay outside. Well, what kind of issue are we having, dude? Put the mask on and I'll show you. You're pregnant, no need for you to go inside, so. Yeah, I wasn't planning on it. All right, Frank, let's go do it. Let me know what's going on in there, okay? Holy. Oh my god. What is it? Black mold. Black mold? Yeah. Oh my god. All this, you can see where it's growing. We cannot come back until this is contained, treated, and gone. It's really bad. I would not expect that here. We were really lucky that the mold didn't spread to the neighbor's unit. But the removal cost $7,000, so we decided not to spend the money to remove the kitchen wall. OK, mold's cleared up, house is safe. I understand that the wall can't come down, the mold, blah, blah, blah. What about actually just doing a, a large cutout right here? That way, at least you get the you know appearance that the room's bigger. How much extra is it to do a 
everything she's she's wanting. You're looking at about 2,800. That's so doable. Okay, deal. Okay, so now let's go upstairs, figure that whole situation out. Okay, we've got two bathrooms to design. This is the master. I'm thinking just large, huge, grand walk-in shower. We have to be very careful with budget. Because it's such a large shower, we have to keep the material cost at, at a minimum. But this is the wow factor. And for this area, younger family looking for something cool, more modern, they're gonna want that bling factor. I'm thinking crystal chandeliers. What are you talking, what do you mean chandeliers? We're not, we're not, we're absolutely, we're gonna put a can light, Done. How about you? You can design and do whatever you want to do in that bathroom. This bathroom's mine. Oh, you want to challenge my design? Yes, a design challenge. You could have that bathroom, and I get this bathroom. Okay, first of all, Never. do you think you could beat me? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh you think God. she could beat me? He's laughing because he knows you're, you're not I can beat you. The one thing you got to guarantee is I'm not in the middle of this whole contest. Frank, who do you have? Who, Frank can't decide because... I'm responsible know. for all of it, so no. No, what we'll do is when people come through the open house, they can look around and people can vote. And we have to stick to the budget. Deal. Deal. There's no way you're winning. So my overall theme here is gonna be white, modern, and bling. I wanna do this glass mosaic, the entire shower wall, and then continue all the way to that wall. So I'm thinking this arabesque tile, just framing around the window, around the soap dish, and just only on this back wall. And the rest would be all the subway tile. What I want to do is get a vanity mirror to the ceiling. And then I found some really fun, extra blingy bathroom lights. Have you seen Christina's design? Of course. No matter how much Tark tries to bribe you, my secret stays in this room. I feel like for the kitchen, we should do mostly all white to make it feel bigger. Agree. So white cabinets, white counters, probably a gray flooring, light gray paint. I think that looks beautiful. Perfect. Frank and his guys are tiling the shower so that it's a real design piece. And they're installing white shaker cabinets with a sparkly white countertop. I can't wait till Tark sees that I have a chandelier in the bathroom and the closet and the shower and the bedroom. Let's talk about the living room. So this is kind of going to be the focal point. So design-wise, what do you want to do with the fire? OK, so I brought these samples. This for flooring. It's just a nice, pretty, neutral gray color, kind of light. So I picked that for the fireplace, but instead of doing the matte finish, a shiny finish. It'll just be really modern and square. I would say overall, the design of the kitchen is like 10 times better. Christina's idea of creating this pop-out, I mean, really, really paid yeah, off. Yeah, I like that. Well, finally, huh? Yeah, it's finally going on. Been waiting weeks for the new roof. It's been a long three weeks, and we finally got HOA approval. I'm glad we were able to keep things moving on the inside. But now we can finally make the outside look amazing. These are the approved colors from the HOA we got? Yes. Yeah, so this is the approved color for the body of the house. You mean the stucco on the siding? Exactly. And then we can pick either of these options for the trim. OK, I think this one is too close to the roof color. I agree. So I think, you know, to keep it really light and nice, I think these two. All right, it's going to look so much better. Hey, Chark. Hey, what's up, man? I Ooh. like the darker grout with the white tile. It looks really cool. It does. I'll give it to Christina. She did a really good job here. But there's one other thing. I did a better job on my bathroom, so. We'll see about that. Tark better not be peeking in on my bathroom. I know him, and I would not put it past him. Since I'm the one overseeing the completion of this flip, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't take a look. You know, to make sure everything's done to Christina's high standards. Oh, wait a minute. All right, so I have a confession. I'm here at the house in Anaheim, and I cheated and looked at your bathroom. You cheated? I thought you knew the rules. You don't get to go in my bathroom. No peeking, 
No cheating. Well, hey, you're not here, so I need to make sure it's uh, progressing forward. Okay. But let's talk about list price, yeah? Yeah. So after closing costs and staging, our break even on this house is about 530,000. I ran the comps and they're kind of ranging. So they're anywhere between like the upper fives to as high as 629.9. But the only issue that we're gonna have is that the higher comps actually have usable yards or views where we don't really have a yard. So what do you think? Should we list on the lower end and the high fives or push it all the way up to like 629.9? Definitely want to make money here. The house looks amazing, so I'm thinking on the hotter side. Okay, so you're thinking 629.9 is a good list price? Definitely. Okay, perfect. Is this the front? I think. Is this it? Or is this the side yard? Hello. Hi. I'm, I'm Carter. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you, Tar. Nice to meet you. Who's this little guy? This is Luke. Say hi, Luke. So I'll tell you a little bit about the house. It's a two bedroom, two and a half bath. It's about 1,900 square feet. And uh, we just came on the market for $629.9. I'd love for you guys to take a look around and let me know what you think. I like the color. It's yeah, really it's pretty. It's very pretty. I like the gray tones in mm -hmm. it. It goes so nice with this countertop. You just notice the subway tiles here? Yeah. This very is cool. really cool. If you're cooking something up, you can just put it right here. It's the quartz kind of looking fireplace. Just mm -hmm. like the kitchen, they pulled it all together. Wow. What's great about the backsplash is they, they filled the entire bathroom with it from floor to ceiling. Even though it's a small bathroom, it looks bigger because of the tiles all the way up. The lighting, it matches the chandelier. I like the little tile accent, the, the kind of Moroccan tile. And another chandelier. You're gonna fall in love with this master closet. So what do you guys think? It's amazing. What do you feel about the price? Price is pretty good. We spend a little bit more money than we usually do on the upstairs bathrooms. I want to get your opinion on the master bathroom versus the other bathroom. Uh, which one do you guys prefer? The big master bedroom. I'd have to say the white design. I'm in love with the chandeliers, so. Uh huh. Um, I think I like the master. I liked how, because it was kind of feminine and pretty. You don't think the other one was pretty? No. It's a little more masculine. <laughs> Buyers really loved Christina's bathroom design. And after a few weeks on the market, we got an offer at $589,900. Time to find another house to flip.